I think that a lot of people think mm. they know their strengths, but my research suggests that we often don't, that we, we have ideas about what we think we're best at, but a lot of times we forget that our strengths aren't what we're best at. It, it's more the intersection of what we're good at doing and what we love doing, but it also has a real important element of how we make an impact. And so if you start to think about that as a Venn diagram, mm -hmm. you might know what you're good at, you might know what you like, but oftentimes we don't know what affects other people the most. You could call that your impact or you could, you could call that kind of like, <laughs> you could call it your purpose, you know, like what you're sort of doing for the world and for other people. And one thing that we've been finding is self-reflection often doesn't yield that. So what we're doing, and by the way, so I didn't, I didn't invent any of this, but at the University of Michigan, there were some, some, I would call them my heroes, frankly, but these would be people like, um, Dutton and, um, this would be like Laura Morgan Roberts and this would be like Gretchen Spritzer, Bob Quinn. These people, you know, this is 15 years ago. They started writing in an abstract conceptual way about how if you want to know your impact, you should ask the people that you impact. And that concept of a reflection of your best self was really intriguing to me 15 years ago. But they never, well, they and many people in the field didn't do empirical research on that. And so that's actually one of the, that's the sort of bucket that I picked up and ran with is we really should work on that. You know, we really should understand if that's even true. And so anyway, over the last 10 years, I feel like I've learned a lot about how surprised people are when they get one of these highlight, highlights reels. And, and basically what that is, it is memories and stories from family, from friends, from colleagues, from mentors. It's people that have watched you over the years, even over the decades. And then they write a story that is their memory of a time you've did some, you've done something ex exceptional. That's the name of the book. That's why that book is called exceptional. It's, there are times when you've had an extraordinary impact and here's my memory of you doing that. And, um, I just can't tell you, number one, how powerful and emotional that is to read it from other people as opposed to just self reflecting. So that's one thing. I think a second thing I'd put out there is just the vast amount of new insights that you can get because a lot of things that people remember for 15 years, 20 years, and they write down in a lot of detail, you might not even think of as a big deal. You, you might think, oh, no, that's just, that's just easy. That's what anybody would do. And if you have seven, eight, nine people writing different stories, but around that same theme, but you yourself just don't think that's a big deal that highlight reel starts to unveil ways of you becoming exceptional. And I call them high leverage moves. 